Testing is the theme here at Reef of Blues Orlando. I'm here with Tom from Aperture slash Neptune Systems looking at the Trident NP nitrates phosphates. You're the man with the stats. Tell me about it. All right. So um, I think really, you know, both products, especially coming out, you know, at the same time, essentially. Oh, well, what's the second product? We're getting a two for one here. We're getting a two for one. With the doser. So you're getting a, a prequel, if you will, uh, ah. of the dose, right? Of the dose QD, which is really a, a merging of technologies between Neptune Systems and Ecotech Marine. Um, the doser, you know, has already been a really successful product for us. So, you know, why reinvent the wheel? I mean, you can add some bullets to it. Um, really, the big two bullet points on that are continuous duty under 60 mils a day, which can add a, a bunch of applications that, you know, the current dose uh, maybe it's capable of, but maybe not perfectly suited for. Okay. So adding that continuous duty, I think, gives you you know a whole other feature set. Um, and making it quieter is obviously just awesome. So you know, uh, silent operation essentially at a slower rate of speed. Some additional details will be like provided on this very soon. But release date is imminent on this, so you know it's only been known for a few days at this point, <laughs> and it'll be in people's hands on uh, the 30th of this month. Continuous duty under 60 mils a day. What kind of applications are you thinking for with that? Um, you know, affluent on a calcium reactor, I think would make sense on some stuff. Um, you know, certain chemical additives maybe are better slowly drift over a really extended period of time okay uh, you know when you, you're talking about 60 mils per minute that's 3.8 gallons a day so could our water change automatic water change at that point I'd argue that's more dialysis than it is automatic water change in a way I don't know there's a lot of Continuous. dialysis clinics all around the nation Tom yeah. I think you guys are onto something I think so I, I think it you know it's just more versatile right so you have more options and so I think that's what the dose already had. It already had a million different ways of doing things. It spins in both directions. You can do liquid food. You could go forward X and then retreat X. So, you know, I am, for example, at home, using them for a wide variety of things. Uh, Triton four part for calcium alkalinity, et cetera. I'm using it for liquid food out of a refrigerator. So I'm able to go 113 mils forward, 100 mils backwards. So it puts the salt water right back into that line and holds it in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. not contaminating my food, but I'm getting 13 mils into the tank and that 100 is just the length of the tube, right? So that those numbers aren't exact, but that's yeah, essentially yeah. the idea. Um, so you have a lot of different, and automatic water change. So it can do super fin you know, uh, finesse stuff, if you will, at 0.1 mils, okay. all the way up to 34 gallons a day. This is gonna add more stuff that you can do. So. You know, uh, I think other hobbyists will figure out a whole lot of other things <laughs> that I can't even come up with right now. Um, and I think that's, you know, really what the hardware is all about. It's, it's enabling, like, other options and, and further progressing the hobby, which is, you know, I think what keeps me engaged, too. So adding on more hardware, the Trident Dose NP nitrates phosphate does that. People have been asking for this for years. Now it's here. Tell me about it. So specifically on years, they were asking for it after we announced the Trident, before we sold the Trident. <laughs> so that was already speculated of, oh, they're gonna do that. Um, and you know, that, that is what the people want, and we listen. And it's a major engineering challenge uh, and a uh, you know chemistry problem to solve um, to get this balance point of you know, price, size, reagents, um, continuous, you know, information, all these things in a compact, you know, all these things that have perfect balance, which, you know, my my opinion, the Trident really has shown, right? It's been very successful. I think we've learned a lot of things from having that unit. You know, it's not just a safety net. It's not just an expert tool. This is something to make somebody more successful, which is really why all the Neptune products have ever been designed. You know, this is a specific need. We're all hobbyists. How can we get the best solution, you know, in a, in a you know, consumable product to answer a need on my fish tank? And I think the MP is just another evolution of that. Um, you know, there's been a ton of excitement. So I, I think we hit the nail on the head and I think this is, you know, it's been a long time coming that people have been looking forward to some of this. So I was noticing we got three reagents for it. How often do we have to test with the NP? So uh, the test per day is uh, at a minimum of one. You can increase that. Um, accuracy, resolution numbers, a couple of those other things will be uh, announced very soon. Um, price point, super comparable to the Trident. I know that's like a very uh, you know, desired question right now, and uh, you're not gonna have to wait very long at all to get the answer to that. Um, bottles will last you 60 days instead of 30. 
primarily because you do have three bottles inside like you did with uh, the Trident uh, for calcium, alkaline, and magnesium, but A, it runs out twice as fast on okay. the uh, the current Trident, if you will. Sure. Um, and uh, it's more of a one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one ratio on this, so you get a 60-day run uh, with a two-month kit, uh, as opposed to a four-bottle, three-month kit, or two-month kit, sorry, on uh, the original Trident. So no need to touch it in between 30 days. So one thing that I'm seeing that's for both models is a little drip tray here. Yep. So this will work on old Trident, new Trident. Correct, and uh, you know, I wish I knew exactly how many things I could say about it, but uh, yeah, very simple concept, just a little shelf for it to sit on, uh, you know, for the just in case. The question is, does a leak detector fit in this tray? Yeah, I think, Mark, you're onto something there, and I think you will probably be able to figure that one out pretty quick, so. We did think of it all. It's got a little hole in the back, Tom, so I'm thinking that's a yes. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with a yes. You're gonna, okay. Yeah. So we can have a leak detector if it leaks. I can put this on my old Trident, Trident One per se, if I wanted. You're gonna sell these things individually. Uh, so they'll be included with the uh, the NP, uh, and uh, the I've actually gotten a question about that as well as the the color. And uh, honestly, you know, send the request in is you know we had a meeting just before this with the, with the, the highest of upper management. And it's, uh, you know, we listen to the customer base. And so if there's a, you know, a want for uh, the dark chassis uh, to, you know, potentially be available separately, for example, um, that's something we would consider doing. So okay. I think it, all, it always comes down to, um, you know, is it, is it two people or is it a lot of people? And so, yeah, I think uh, you'll so see. You'll if see you those. want it, you got to ask for it and you got to let them know. Uh, but down the road, you know, of course, anything's always possible. Okay. Yep. All right, Tom. Thanks for taking the time, hey. man.